This episode, we speculate on what an Overwatch movie would be like. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you've tuned into The Chocolate Dollar Show. Hailing from the Midwest region of the United States, we introduce to you The Chocolate Dollar Podcast. Cool intro. <laughs> uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to The Chocolate Dollar Show. Uh, my name is Jonathan. To my left, in the actual studio for once... Ed, all the way in from Virginia himself. No, can you? Hear me? That's Noah. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yeah. That's Noah. And then last but certainly not least, I guess so this is the studio. Yeah. Cool. This is the office studio, whatever it is. It has that's free, great. it has free water. It does yeah. have free water. It's got a water that's cooler. Great. I'm Noah. The Ritz. yeah. <sighs> Anyways, uh, this one Overwatch movie. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that the original intent? I believe it was. Or at least oh. part of it. Really? Mm-hmm. How do, how do I think this? And um, I'm you guys pretty told sure. Me. I'm pretty sure that it's that Overwatch came about wanting to be a game. Yeah, of course. But they wanted to spin movies and do stuff like that. Yeah. Hence Warcraft. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Tracer was in the like Blizzard uh, Studios opening real thing at the beginning of that. Can't movie. believe you remember that. I mean, Tracer <laughs> Tracer's also in Ready Player One. So hey, I yeah. would say. Watch is already in movies. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, but we're, we're, we're here to speculate what uh, the what an actual Overwatch movie would be. A lot of flashbacks, too many, <laughs> too many characters. Yeah, what was the backstory again? I know we did like a whole episode on that. But... Have you ever watched the intro? Yeah, 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 I did. But like, what's what's the <laughs> recap of that? One more time. It's literally before the game, Ed. Every time you <laughs> The same thing every time. Yeah. Okay. So they were they all formed a team fighting the Omnics and then they broke up because <laughs> it's like Incredibles. They, the start like of the Incredibles. <laughs> yeah. It's basic. Like, it's basically the Incredibles, Ed. <laughs> okay. So a few of them got married and had kids. Probably that's where you get Bastion. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Faro would be a more better. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, so would we just pick off like where the the opening cinematic is in Overwatch whenever it loads up? Like that's just the beginning of the movie. Is is that so what the, the movie the movie could be one of two things? It could either be like focused on the Omnic War, the Omnic Crisis, right? Of yeah. Overwatch and Blackwatch, and then fighting the Omnics. Or it could be what we have right now, which is Talon. Omnics are still kind of a thing. Overwatch is kind of disbanded, trying to get the gang back together. I mean, that's where it starts is the gang getting back together. Who would be the main character? Winston. Winston. And Winston. Tracer. Winston and Tracer would probably be our main <laughs> two. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, I could see that. I was thinking Soldier 76, but then again, he's probably more like the... Grandpa. Yeah, the he and Anna are more like the, oh, we're the old I, good guys that will give you I a think price Soldier and then die. Soldier would be their Nick Fury that would they would like bring in after he's been like out doing his own vigilante nonsense for a yeah. while. He, yeah. I guess I can come up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Begrudgingly he would show back up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who in the Overwatch cast would be to this movie what Jazz was to the Transformers movie? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> <laughs> Lucio <Man>. O. Lucio <laughs> <Lucy O-O's. laughs> Just gets ripped in half. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's that's the end of the movie. It's just like you get, you have Lucio Lucio's dancing just, around the the main bad guy or whatever, yeah. and then he like gets grabbed and just, <laughs> just ripped. I thought this was a kids movie. I don't want I want piece. I want two or whatever. <laughs> Blood like want, splatters on the camera. He's, he's like, do you want a piece of me? No, I want, want two. two. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler: That movie came out in like. Spoiler from the movie that uh, oh, over yeah. ten. Yeah. Gosh, that was, that was a okay. Movie. So. Movie starts off the way that it does in the game. Winston hits the recall button. Everybody starts coming together. Blah 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 blah. Convenient button. Is that is that <laughs> what we're going with, or are we focusing on the Omnic War? I guess it would be good. Like you want to have it focused on the main the main roster of like Overwatch characters. I'm literally looking at the poster in my room right now. It's probably <laughs> fifth. Uh, like actual Overwatch people, not including the Talon members, is probably mm-hmm. 15 to 20 people. That's kind of a lot. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so like, you'd have to focus on the. You'd have to Avengers it kind of where you do uh, <laughs> the main. The problem with stuff. the problem with like they <laughs> watch Suicide 
Justice League the movies are bad because they didn't give their characters room to breathe and like actually showcase what their characters can do, right? Yeah. And and so I think that's kind of where the problem arises, where you want to keep it a lower number mm. of people so that you can like each have their own moment to shine during this. So like I think members or characters like Lucio, like Hanzo and Genji, may even mm. um, Torb and well maybe Torb, but Sebastian and Symmetra, they might not be in the movie. Yeah, Maybe. I could see that. What they, if they are hog and junk rat? What if yeah. they did uh like just uh would you rather have like an entire movie or like a 45 minute short? Like a long short? Yeah. Or or do you guys think that Overwatch would best serve as a TV show? No. No. Okay. No. It's gonna I think a movie would be better. A movie would be better. I okay. think a sh- I think like multiple hour long shorts like a story about like a mini series yeah essentially like a story yeah. about um uh, you know a story about bastion and a story about uh farah yeah and a honestly story like, about technically they've already been doing that like they've been getting giving us shorts about these about characters that. and their backgrounds maybe building up to a movie okay but then the problem, the movie, with problem with is that, that people need to see the shorts yeah and, and and that's the problem with a lot of video game movies is they're very inaccessible for people who don't already know the video game. Oh, yeah. Warcraft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Assassin's Creed. Like, don't really <laughs> add because they're just like, oh, this is for the fans. They'll enjoy this. But then it's just, it's not mm. even good for the fans. Yeah. yeah. Then, then you go and do them. something that the fans don't even like. And it's like, mm. yeah. Is that what Assassin's Creed did? China loves it. them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay, full movies. We're sticking with that. Uh, I think you focus on probably like four characters, Max, like you were saying. <laughs> honestly. I, I think you're probably right with the characters like Farah who are connected to like the old ones, but like they're kind of the up and coming mm-hmm. ones. Or even like Winston Tracer kind yeah. of thing. Which that would be interesting. What if, what if you made Tracer like the main character for the. Because I mean, she already kind of is like the poster of Overwatch. How um, big is she on that poster, Noah? Oh, she uh, is the biggest one. The yes. mech is the biggest one. Then it's Reinhardt, then it's Roadhog. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was expecting her to just I, be really big in I, the center. I think <laughs> that Torb, right? Winston <laughs> and D.Va can be the three big up-and-coming, like, brand-new members. Yeah. And then you have Reinhardt. Say that again. Uh, Here's the, am I cutting out? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. So if you get, like, Tracer... Winston, Diva, Diva. yeah, as the three like main new up and coming people that we can watch them grow, and then for mm-hmm. like three more, you get Reinhardt, Mercy, Soldier seventy six as yeah. like Old they school. come in to like they're, mentor, yeah, like the mentors, but they've seen like the war before and they're yeah. a little bit more hardened, and so like they could also have some character growth and like reopen yeah. themselves. So here, here's the question: you're, you're talking about three characters that we're following are you talking about them all as like equally protagonist like the main characters or are you kind of focusing on one of them and then the other two are like the supporting characters that are going on the journey with the main character does that I make think, sense yeah i get what you're saying i think think of it as like the avengers you know i would say cap and iron man are the main characters the main two yeah iron probably has the most screen time but all of those main six in the first Avengers are all equally important. They mm-hmm. all have a lot to do. They all have a lot to say. They all have their own mentalities going into the fight with Loki at the end mm-hmm. uh, and Smash. their reasoning for wanting to, to win. Um, but they all are equally trying to do the right thing and protect people. Yeah. I think you do kind of like that. Like Winston could be the Iron Man. Tracer could be the Cap. Um, Diva could be the Thor of of this movie. I can see that. There's That'd a, I don't know. I I play Diva a lot. I'm not really sure she's a very solid character, to be honest. Like storyline wise, I think her yeah. thematic, the 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 reason why I said Diva as one, like you don't have to have it as Diva, but I think a lot of people like Diva. Yeah, um, I would agree there. I think that of like the people that play the game, <laughs> Diva. <laughs> but uh but also i think 
the cinematic that she just had did show more character than yeah. we had been previously given for her. So I think that there is something there. Yeah. I she she's kind of got the like. Um, I feel like the the story arcs that you get with each of those three because Winston, while he, yes, he's like not one of the, the originals technically. He's like he's a seasoned hero Mm -hmm. right yeah so i feel like he's in the opening of their little short thing at the beginning of every yeah so like i feel like like their story arcs would be interesting because tracer i think would be more of like a coming of age story Mm. whereas and then she already had her she already had her coming of age i I, okay yeah yeah diva that's i think diva's more like a spider-man like he has a lot of quippiness but then like he'll have a couple lines throughout the movie where he actually has some like this is actually who I am, you know? Yeah. For the most part, real like, stuff. Yeah. fun and I'm happy and I'm, like, happy and whatnot. But then, like, you have a couple hard, gut-punching, emotional moments where yeah. Diva's like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, like, I could see that. I need to be there. Yeah, I could see that. So I, th- I think that you focus on Winston Tracer and, like, they're responding to the latest Omnic threat that maybe, you know, maybe Talon incited and you could show, you know, Reaper, mm. Divas, yeah, you know, okay. So there you go. Who, who's our who's our uh, main antagonist? Main antagonist. I think, I think it's the Omnic dude from the from one of the things. I think he's the main antagonist, but maybe not the main uh, power or villain. So like think, Darth Vader, Darth Sidious type dynamic, like where you have like the main th- bad guy is kind of ominous. Reaper is our Darth Vader, and I think Doomfist is our Sidious. Okay. I think that there's the Omnic that's in one of those that's in one of the comics or the trailers. Maximilian, which yeah. we have. Yeah, I think that's that's the thing. Is like they would introduce introduce a new character through the movie. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. and then he'd be playable in the game right after the movie made its theatrical. Yeah, he'd be run. like anti Zenyatta. <laughs> I bet the movie would be like the on poor Talon and Overwatch kind of like battling it out, even though it's not not full on war because they're still technically fighting the Omnics. And that's it's the thing. One of those like oh, Talon we is, kind of have to work together at the end. I think Talon thing. is fighting through the Omnics though. They're using the Omnics to fight. That's their point. But, like, Talon is more of a terrorist organization, and they've said that they want Reaper to be more, like, a terrorist. he could go either way. Like, oh. he's with Talon right now because that's who he thinks is doing the right thing. Yeah. And, and, he, and he feels betrayed by Soldier. That would be a really interesting dynamic, um, bringing in Soldier as, like, the mentor character, is, like, you're not focusing on the Soldier, but, like, a, a B story throughout the whole thing could be mm. what happened between Soldier and Reaper. And, like, that's kind of to what, when you're gonna getting towards the climax or something like that, that um, connection, like, they could meet up and then, like, have one final battle or, like, one battle where Soldier dies but converts Reaper to the good side or something like that. Yeah. You kind of go either way with that. I think it could be an Obi-Wan Anakin moment where yeah, yeah. they're my brother, Soldier 70s. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have the high ground. Reyes, so, I can teleport. <laughs> so, so was I. Yeah. So, so what's the what's the uh, Hanzo Genji dynamic in the movie? Or I is honestly, that even I honestly think, think they need. Them out. I think them they out. need. I think they need their entire movie. Their they entire need their movie. own movie, like their own yeah. spinoff. Okay. The Junkers, the the brothers. You leave them out. You leave out A. You leave out I. Lucio. Maybe you bring in McCree, but maybe not. You know. I think Zenyatta, no. that you have another movie. The second movie is going to be about the Shimada brothers, and then there's going to be the unlikely duo that's going to be with them, and it's going to be oh. Junkrat. <laughs> Junkrat and Roadhog. Honestly, I could see that. That would be awesome, actually. Those four? That would be hilarious. Kind of like Hulk in the Thor movie where it's just like, this is like totally <laughs> weird, but then it kind of worked. And then it was like, <laughs> oh, you yeah. unify Hulk. Raging fire. <laughs> Raging fire. <laughs> <laughs> I that would be really interesting actually that and that would be because like because Genji would probably be the only do-gooder in that whole situation because because Hanzo's I didn't say like, they were working uh, together all the time but I think the movie would focus around them like, somehow yeah that'd be interesting there's the thing is that they're the Junkrat and Roadhog the only they've been to what uh London to steal something probably Didn't no I no they were in London moving the been on Australia I think no, they, they they stole something from somewhere that was not. Yeah, didn't we talk about that they actually might have something really powerful, like yeah. Doom Fist Fist? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Well, it's something like equivalent to that, I think, is what the the lore officially states that 
you know, one of those. They've I'm been looking up with my laptop, but I'm afraid of crashing it again while we're recording, so I'm not yeah. going to do anything else with it. Um, I could see May being, like, a character that, if <laughs> going along Grant's thing where there's movie one, movie two, like, in the movie three that she's, like, the new person on the team kind of thing. Because she's, like, really, really cool, but she really doesn't. I don't see her connecting with any of the main stories. She's Amazing. Just kind of out there. <laughs> that was actually really good. <laughs> um, because that, that, I feel like I feel like there's the they could do something with Australia. They could do. Oh yeah. Aus- oh yeah. Maybe, maybe totally a complete yeah. one that's completely in Australia, but honestly, you don't have a lot to work with there. What, what about if, like Arissa too? Yeah. Yeah. Because you got Arissa, and then you've also got the whole Farah. Um, is she the um, guard? Is she the Anna dynamic? You, where is Farah from? From is she's she's one of like the flying guards people for some Egypt? place Egypt. Somewhere, yeah. somewhere in Egypt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but here's the thing: we need to focus on movie, movie. one. Movie one. What we, okay. If we let's feel like on, it, we can get to movie, movie two, one, three, three, four later. Let's 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 pitch like a story, like a plot. Yeah. For this thing. If we're going with the like diva, um, diva Winston Tracer, I feel like Farah would be a main character too. That's that's just my guess, just because she has the whole my mom was on Overwatch thing. But then yeah. I, I could totally see an Anna being like a character that just comes in, says wisdom, and then leaves immediately. Yeah. Like you see her first because she sleeps somebody like someone drops and is sleeping and then she walks in and it's like blah blah blah. I always get and then leave. Back. Yeah, and then <laughs> she, she's there for like maybe five minutes of the movie. Yeah, Reyes, you minutes. used to be good. She's blah, there for blah, the, blah, she's, and then gets she, away. She's there for the nades. So <laughs> Reaper, Reaper is our main antagonist. Where is Widow in? I, I think Widow can be in there. Secondary um, role. Secondary here. Uh, Wait, who are villain? the main people in Talon again? I know it's like uh, Reaper. Doomfist, Reaper, Widow that we know of. Sombra right works now. for them, but she's not actually yeah. Talon. Yeah, and they kind of know that. that. I feel like Sombra's story is a yeah. good movie too thing. Yeah, personally. you leave out Sombra for this one. Yeah, like maybe she makes a small cameo at one point, but it's like kind of like a she's there, she's gone. <laughs> yeah, teasing it for the next movie type thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so movie opens up. Uh, are we doing? So we're doing. Movie opens up. Winston makes the call. Cut to Tracer wherever she's at, hearing the call. In another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> and then they meet up somewhere. How does Diva get into the story? How, how do we bring think, her into this? I think that uh, they play off her cinematic and let's go for maybe a few months after her cinematic. And okay. The things are attacking again. And like Winston and Tracer, or yeah, Winston and Tracer show up and like save people in the city like once something gets through. Mm. I could see that. Yeah, like you yeah, can do it all on your own, Diva. Um, yeah, I, I like That's that together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> wasn't that the entire point of the the? No, because she, she did do it all on her own. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she totally did. <laughs> <laughs> How Grant plays her, yeah. <laughs> it would have been better if instead of the boy, it was just like a mercy or some support, just like, oh, I can't believe I let you get away. With <laughs> <laughs> so that's more you accurate. Edit like cinematic. Yeah. Just have, tr- have, can, have, okay. have, have, have a mercy following her around the entire time. <laughs> you, can, you can totally have this like <laughs> awesome uh, pay homage to the to the actual game with the movie in the sense of like playing on those little nuances. Everyone like just this like little nods to the fans. I mean, that's type a, stuff like that'd be hilarious. That's a given in a, a video game movie, though, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, the entire <laughs> movie. They nod. would have to. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, like those specific things. It's like we like things that players can actually relate to outside of the lore. If that like makes in sense. the in the second movie with the Genji movie, he's need healing at some point. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Her, the, yeah, I need healing. And then Anna's just like, shut up! Yeah. Shut up! I think it'd be good if the Farah ulted and then died immediately. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, whoa. That, that's just... <laughs> oh, my. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Um, okay, so that's how like Diva... The of they meet in Korea with Diva. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they're like, clearly there's something bigger going on here. We want to recruit you. Yeah, except, and except Diva's more, like, all right, more I'll like Winston. Yeah. yeah, Winston's like, we're trying to get the gang back together. We need more people to build Overwatch, but like, this is too important. This is too pressing of an issue. We got to go now and deal with this threat yeah. now. I think they hmm. should go somewhere in either Europe or the Middle East, because then if go- going off the like pickup Farah thing, 
And then there's also plenty other characters that are either like somewhere in Eastern Europe or um, around be, there. I can't think I of. Think, I think yeah, you could you could pick up a couple more like background characters, you know. But well, you could have those as the main three. So I'm like, be fun. honest. I think Winston just like going around places is gonna be a little weird. True. <laughs> they, yep. It's like the thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey. Um, it's clobbering time. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes monkey mental and. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, so okay, so they meet up with Diva, have a conversation, get her on board. Where do we go from there specifically? You said either Europe or somewhere in the Middle East. We gotta we gotta find more members. So I feel like yeah. there would have to be a battlefield that they're either going to or going somewhere Ooh. else to pick up people for like we need to go to I know what we do. What? What? They uh they're like, We gotta go look for uh Yeah, I gotta go look for Reinhardt. And so they go to Ooh, Germany. Germany. <laughs> and <laughs> like you know who's like you know who else is in Germany? Brig. Okay, yeah, but I'm, I'm ooh, kind of excluding ooh, Brig her. Brig and Torb, that's how you get them into it. Torb's from Sweden. Yeah, but They're he's good friends <laughs> with... Okay, Ron, let's Ron, back up. Or we're we're getting too many people. Sorry. I'm trying to cut... I'm, I'm thinking... <laughs> okay. so yeah, going don't to leave Germany. We go to Germany to find uh, Reinhardt, and you find Reinhardt, he either and sends... Ba- he either, he, yeah, Bastion. He either sends Brig and doesn't go himself, or he goes himself, and you also find Bastion. And that's kind of where you find the flip side of the Omnic. Oh, yeah. The Omnic Ooh. condition. And I'm thinking that you you don't really, I don't think you throw Bastion really into the fight, but you just kind of have him as like a side character. Yeah. Bastion, Bastion is your Wally here. Yeah. yeah and I'm not yeah. saying like they like. Ba- Bastion with a Wally and then kind of like, um, what's like, the character I'm thinking of? Arisa? No. Um, in Harry Potter, there's like the house elf character who's like Dobby. there. Dobby. Yeah, Dobby. He's important. Dobby's he's sweet. there, but he's not like always there. I kind of feel like that's what you do with Bastion. Like, yeah, but you Bastion bring in can't him... teleport in. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, no, I think like he, he would pop up and he'd be a point of contention of like, we got to kill it. You know, versus like he's harmless. Yeah. And then they like leave him there with like Torbjorn. Yeah. I'm just saying like, like you brief, yeah, for, brief for, character. For, for, in Germany, but they don't come with the group. They're like, we're gonna yeah. figure out why Bastion's like good. Have yeah, fun. <laughs> yeah. Burp, burp. Brigitte built some sort of like, can it, like a like Bastion's the pet Brigitte just found, and wants uh, that's to- kind of destroying an entire character. But okay. Well, I mean, like, I like the dynamic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just leave them with the engineers, essentially. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder the people you want to leave a robot. With. So then now we have <sighs> Reinhardt tagging along with. Winston, Tracer, I feel like Reinhardt would say no, that you'd talk to him and then he'd say no. And then maybe oh, show no. up later in the movie and do something. No, Reinhardt, dude, like went, during his cinematic, like at the end, he, Brig he, was like, you don't need to go with Overwatch. Like you, you've done enough. He's like, no, I need to do my duty. Like, oh, this is- so he wants to go? Yeah. yeah. Oh, never He's mind. Like, so I need to protect- how much, how much of the shorts do we want to take into account for this? All of them. I, I mean, hundred percent. I'm a hundred percent sure they have a roadmap and they're using the cinematics. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. They're all important, but like, y- you you have to make sure that again this is accessible to everyone. Yeah. So you have smart lines to be like, "Hey, remember that time? Yada yada, we battled together, like between Tracer and Winston. Yeah, yeah. Good thing your Chronal Accelerator worked, and you weren't stuck in another time dimension or whatever. Yeah. Maybe um, some better like better lines, but yeah, you need callbacks. <laughs> that that <laughs> conversation yeah, has to happen. Bones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the that's the idea of the conversation. That's not the exact wording on the script, but that's Obviously. the idea. Obviously. Um, <laughs> yada yada, time okay. accelerated. Yada yada. So, so they so so they get all four of them because Winston's like, we need Reinhardt. We need one of the originals we to, need, to help us. I trust. I trust Reinhardt. Yeah. Where I do think, they go from there? What what's what's their mission? Like, what, I mean, they're they're recalling, but like when they recall in the at, short recall, rounded the troops to to go figure out. Like they know where this omnic base is. They figured yeah. it out. I don't know. So, so is the rallying point um, like they're getting people and rallying them together at a specific outpost? No, they're just picking them up as they get. Okay. I think, I think while we're like picking up Overwatch characters, we also need to flip and show talent. Yeah, and what they're doing. So, so what's what's the opposite side of the story right now? So um, Reaper and like. The Talon members are trying to figure out like how to conquer, divide and conquer, basically. 
I think that I think they'd be going after members. I think yeah. they'd be like they're going back like Reaper. I'm gonna guess Reaper's gonna have some old Overwatch track and he's gonna get the call too. He yeah. Very, yeah. yeah. He's gonna be like, oh no, puts on mask, floats away. Um, <laughs> you think about in the Winston Reaper recall cinematic. You know, Reaper was there trying to get the information from yeah that, so that thing. That that would suggest he doesn't. He wanted the. Li- I'm gonna assume he wanted the entire list. He wanted the list of all the members. Yeah. So they're probably gonna be you know Jedi hunting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that would, Ooh, there because- you go. There you go. We would go that route because so so do we show maybe some side of the Talon? We find some of the other good guy characters, but it's like them hunting them. So you don't necessarily like get to connect with the good guy character, but you see them mm-hmm. through this I- side of the story. Yeah, I think that's fine. So 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 who are uh. Who are the bad guys going after next? Then honestly, like, name na- who they're either going after somebody we're gonna pick up next, or yep. they're going after nameless Overwatch person. You know he. Like, what if he they're ran going the after machine. like <laughs> Ryan or going after somebody in Germany, and then you get some weird thing where either like Brig and Torb save Ryan, or Ryan saves Brig, or something weird like that, and then that's when the other people show up, and they're like. Well, we just had to save them, or you could either see it happen or something like that. It's like I think something like that. I was gonna say if we go with if you go with someone who's not relevant, then they die. I think I think Lucio. you go. Oh, <laughs> they could go after because the recall. <laughs> oh, two of you that aren't the game. You know that they, yeah. they're watch characters, but they're not actually playable characters. Yeah, you could do that, like Grant was saying. Or like McCree, you just kill him off, and then you, you go, and then people that play McCree are like, no, yeah. <laughs> and then they give him a ghost skin, and it's all good. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to think of who like who could die, and the least people would be like, uh, they have Symmetra. said that they want characters Symmetra. to oh. die. They have really? said that they have said you know they're toying with the idea of well you know in the lore we could kill them off, but they're still playable you know, in the game. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that's fine, honestly. Yeah. I could see I honestly I could see Winston dying. Do yeah. you know do you know why they could do that? Because heroes never die. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, Mercy. There you go. <laughs> nah, they um, should just kill him. But they should kill Mercy off <laughs> right off. Get- <laughs> or just kill off all these characters and have Mercy Mid- just like coming in and then she dies. Mid res. Like, oh and she's like yeah. as you know, she's got that, that don't re- don't forget. Heroes never die, and they're like, "I won't forget." Oh, <laughs> no, that, that that would be hilarious. She just like dives into like res them all, and then dies immediately. And uh, like, I, I miss... public service announcement: don't fly right into the <laughs> that, enemy. That's team. all the movie is. It's just how to not misuse PSA, the res. Don't you're play. not invincible. When you're... <laughs> um, um, as you were saying, Grant, I don't remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I, well, I remember. I, I miss Old Mercy, where you'd hide behind a wall and you'd watch that tick. It'd go. You'd be like, three, four. <laughs> Just remember, five. Early Come on, day. five. Yeah, yeah, die, die, die. <laughs> yeah, Grant, you were just like, dude, just die. Just throw and die, please. I'll res you. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. God. I don't, that was probably one of the, like, those moments were probably where I was the most confident when I was like, Grant has res. All right, let's do this. Like, yeah. I don't know why. That's that... so broken, though. I'm so glad they got rid of it. Yeah. I'm not glad they got rid of it, but, uh, yeah, now now she's not an all, you know, she doesn't need to be picked every time now. She's not the one character that's always going to be Insta-lock, in the game. Insta-lock, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what if they made her the size of Roadhog and she couldn't dash, but she could do that? <laughs> she could waddle over. <laughs> <laughs> She's just a waddle. With, 100, with 150 health. Yeah, keep me alive, <laughs> please. Anyway, no. Um, back to this. I don't think Mercy should be in this. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I think we pick up Roadhog. Uh, maybe uh, her Roadhog. name is up, dropped. We pick but up. I don't uh, think that, like we pick up Ryan somehow. Okay, so we're in Germany with Ryan. We go, we see Talon, probably before this, we see Talon, you know, trying to kill somebody, trying to kill... Kill S- Symmetra, and they just do, and they don't yeah. stop her. Symmetra, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, no, we could see us, we could see Symmetra, like, lose an arm. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could see plenty of people maimed. How, like, how about, like, I know Zen's not in this, but, like, Zen getting killed off, is that I he, a possibility? His, his brother, um... Yeah, the, the, the main the, guy. He was the one that was in the Widowmaker short. The oh yeah, Halo. Effect. Or whatever yeah, his that, name was. Yeah. Got, got I don't know. Mumbada, Mums, something. With an I know who you're talking about. I know yeah. who you're talking. Yeah, about. but Tracer didn't stop Widowmaker from killing him. Yeah. She didn't, she didn't take the bullet for him. 
Like, no, she literally, she just needed to take the bullet for him. She she <laughs> recalled real quick. She was she noped out of there real quick, <laughs> like a real tracer main. Anyway, um, <laughs> whose ults do you think would be in the movie? Because there's some like far oh, yeah, that diva. It's diva cool, but totally. it's really not like it really wouldn't be that cool. I mean, like, diva I feel like divas soldiers. Uh, the Zen old. I don't think racers like, would be in the movie. I think Winston would. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, I think, like, the cool And I feel like D- D- with, with the characters we have, I feel like all of them but Tracer really, honestly, at some point would have a practical way to insert it into the story yeah. um, during an action sequence I easily. You like, flip a bomb onto somebody and, like, recall and blow them up, but that's kind of violent. I feel Even like <laughs> Reinhardt's would be, like, a very cinematic thing of, like, he hammers the ground and, like, the ground actually, like, breaks mm-hmm. apart. Yeah. That'd be oh, really that's sweet. that's his entrance after. So like, yeah, like, that's how they introduce him. They're going cool. after Ryan next, and he, they show up, and he that's smashes his, things. Anyway. That's his first line. Hammer, da- like maybe maybe, maybe when they're trying to well, find him, they're getting attacked I, by. Uh, his first line is just beer. Beer, <laughs> beer. <laughs> beer. <laughs> anyway, um, a script written entirely by the player or the cap. Yeah, beer, beer. <laughs> Bring me another. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God. Okay. Um, and I feel like divas would be something you use in the climax of the movie, like the the like, pinnacle like of that short. action sequence. What? Like her short was. It was... Yeah. Yeah. I think I you think do since that. they use that, that in, in the, the short, then they wouldn't do it in the movie. What her ult? Yeah. But, but I we're think talking... she could still ult at some point. Yeah. And then she'd just have to like hide behind Ryan the rest of the fight. <laughs> True, yeah, because she doesn't that have call mech. And, yeah. and, and, and Grant's like, yes, yes, yes. They're they're true to me. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> diva. <laughs> Baby diva main. <laughs> Baby diva main. Not even diva, just baby diva. You know how there's a, uh, you know how uh, in like Smash Bros, you can choose to start as like Sam Zero Suit Samus. Yeah. They should do that for Diva. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the most wonderful. They thing should ever. do it for Hammond. That would be better. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, back to the point. Uh, <laughs> Dead immediately. <laughs> By the way, I don't think Hammond comes into like movie four or five. Oh no, no, no! no, no. <laughs> Just leave it. He, he could he, die immediately. Yeah. He's there when you're in Australia. Yeah, um, that's true. Anyway, back to the back to the movie. We're still in Germany. We got to get out of Germany. Yeah, yeah. It's hard without like an objective. Are they going to a battle? I like think a they, battle. Or are they trying to just collect? I think they group up somewhere. And that's where they find they group up at like okay. Echo Point something and uh, Eco Point. And here, 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 here's a quick thought. Here's a quick thought. So we we established. Gibraltar. Sorry, go for it. We established already that like there was time that passed between when Tracer and Winston met up and when they get Diva on board, right? Yeah. We decided that. What if they gathered some intel during that time that that's like how they're kind of. Like that gives us the objective of like we have a lead on where their like where Talon is like what the headquarters or something so like in that. this movie. Do we want the final battle to be just them fighting Talon or them fighting the Omnics? I feel like fighting Talon, honestly. Like I feel like the movie starts with the big issue is the Omnics, but then it like. I could see it being the kind of thing where they're the trade federation. With, yeah, <laughs> where they're like fighting Talon, and then the Omnics come, and then they're like both killing Omnics while they're like Talon kills Omnics too, right? You I think. That right. I think. I don't here's, know. Here's yeah. how. Here, let me let me lay out my movie for a second. <laughs> so we leave Germany. We go to Gibraltar. They they're there for like a hot second, and then Soldier shows up, and he's like. Whippersnappers, this, that, and the other. Or he, <laughs> anyway, and then uh, it's going to be like, where's Talon now? Oh, we just, you know, they're doing this terrorist event here. And so they go, they, they go to that, they go to that. Yeah. And then they start fighting that. And at this point, we're in like maybe the second act of like yeah. three acts. So like mm-hmm. they fight them a bit, and that's yeah. where you get introduction to like kind of like relationships with characters there. Anyway, they end that by like, Talon like tactfully withdraws while Omnix shows up more, and so then they have to fight the Omnix instead. Or like, oh, the bomb's gonna go off in over there. We have to stop it, and, or do we stop oh, Talon? We, we stop, stop the bomb, yeah. something like that. And then that's where I'm stuck. I think the ending of the movie has to be some sort of tactical retreat from both sides, but it ends with Reaper and Soldier being there together. They just fought each other a lot, and they're just like, 
he's like Reyes, you sure you're on the right side kind of thing. Yeah, Reyes. I sure okay. Once you right. said awesome, once That's you legit. said that uh, maybe Reaper got a call too. I could see it like the ending thing of like Reaper somewhere and like he I don't know not his phone. That's not very <laughs> epic, but like kind of showing that he got the call too, and that's like the ending. The 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 blackout. Yeah, like that he's considering it too. I like that. No. Yeah. I like the I, third act. Is really is very you were strong. The third, too. <laughs> the third act is very dry right now. Yeah, yeah. I think I, we have a good first and second. Well, that's where I, I just shoot and fight. The moral dilemma of do we stop this terrorist organization of ta- Talon now, yeah. or do we stop these omnics that are going after civilians? And do obviously, we move, do we you know, move that to the third act then? I, that's a good yeah. third act because okay. Talon, I don't think Talon is really invested or worried about um, omnics. I think that they're fine with omnics wreaking havoc. They want the money, money. I kind of like Grant's idea where it's like the Overwatch is duking it out with Talon trying to stop a bomb or whatever, and then all of a sudden Omnix come and Talon doesn't care, so that's why they can kind of retreat. And then yeah, that could that could be a different way that they get out for that. So maybe that happens in like the that happens. It feels like a cop out if it happens twice, but that happens in like the first interaction. Yeah, and then it happens it's like later. Or, or it's just Reaper by himself shows up and it's just like spooky yeah. talking okay. and it explains the bad guy. You got me monologuing. You know, monologues. <laughs> you got me monologuing. <laughs> like, you enjoy, slide, like, they got busy. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the bomb or something like that. And yeah. Then the then Gibraltar gets blown up. Yeah. Uh, so so we, we're, we're like the, the ending is happening on Gibraltar? No, no. The ending is no. happening somewhere else with okay. Omnits, Omnits Wait, wouldn't attacking. Mo- Moira would be there too. She's part of town, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's more invested, I think. Than let's, other have, let's have the ending be in Egypt. That way, you know, like at the yeah. end, yeah. Farah yeah. and like Anna yeah. are there to defend their land, around. and then they join Overwatch again yeah. at the end of it for yeah. this movie. Yeah, you leave it open ended enough by just bringing in the new characters that when you're like starting the second one, you, you they're already there. So then, like, you have a like a way to kickstart that second one. Mm-hmm. I like the idea think, of meeting, uh, like soldier meeting them at Gibraltar. I feel like that happens towards the end of the second act. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he'll, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That was just a social experience that it worked. <laughs> 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 um, uh, but then yeah. he goes along with them, not like joining them necessarily, but like knowing that they're going the same place anyway. So he kind of comes along with them to Egypt. Maybe he's looking for Anna and Farah, and uh, then he... they come across Talon, and maybe he takes a little bit of persuasion to like. Because like he's he's washed up he he's I, burned out no kind no of. he's nano boozed up <laughs> well, yeah he's, he's juiced but but he's also <laughs> like kind of like why at this point I feel like he's oh, kind of yeah, jaded he's, kinda he's very jaded. I think That's I think he's for. gonna be like I'm not here to fight your war I'm here to finish what I started with yeah, Reaper but... That's why yeah. he's okay there. yeah okay yeah I could see that and then like that that's kind of then you do a, a duel to fate situation where you have Reaper versus Soldier going on during the final battle and then like everybody else fighting like Widow and I Moira think or whatever. I think their their intro to yeah. Anna and Anna yeah to Anna and Farah is something along the lines of like. Winston's like, I already contacted my, you know, I already, you know, my contact in the area, and that's Farah. And then uh, Soldier is like, I got some friends of my own, and is call, called in Anna. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be cool. I like that. Oh, I like that. I think that's good. Are, are we doing a Sombra cameo at any point? Or just no, saying no altogether? No, I think Sombra, Moira, they, they're the talent members that, like, are left for the next I, one. I have an so idea. Wait, what talent members her. would we include? Because right now we have, what, Reaper, Reaper and Widow. And Widow. Reaper and think, Doomfist think, is there as a shadow figure of like the head, but yeah. like yeah. isn't yeah. really. So here's my. He could maybe be in a scene where he's yeah. talking to Reaper. I could or see that kind of like the Thanos yeah. scenes where yeah. it's like. Yeah. yeah. So here's my comment about uh, Sombra. I think she could be in it, but not physically in it. I think there could be like a, a an Easter egg a data. No, like a data drop into the Gibraltar database of like oh. There's gonna be this terrorist attack. How did you find it out? It was, you know, this. It was oh, dropped to me. It can be revealed later in another movie that that was Sombra. I mean, or you could just slap her symbol right on the screen. <laughs> Bang yeah, la la la. <laughs> don't like, oh. see it, but like the audience sees it. And we're Something yeah. like that. Like you see the hanging I like thing. That. And then you I like see that. <laughs> they play the laugh track. It's yeah. like, oh. <laughs> 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 okay. So then, question is, who dies at the end of this movie? Does Lucio. everybody live? Oh, no. Or I think like, does. Who? I think Soldier dies. I was kind of feeling the same thing. Soldier, like you have to have an oldie Ryan, die. Maybe kill off Reinhardt maybe Ryan? at the end. Uh, you could go either way with gonna, that, honestly. Go, like, I think you, I feel like I, I think you have to kill off one of the old veterans. Yeah, true. 
I feel like Ryan would be more emotional considering he's a bigger character in this movie. I he's agree. A, he's a bigger character, but he doesn't have as many interpersonal connections. Yeah. That yeah, that's where it's tricky because I think Ryan is the more likable yeah. than, than Soldier, but Soldier has more connection. I guess it would make it would make more sense for the story, but emotionally for the audience, it make it'd be better to kill off Ryan. I do like the idea of Soldier Ryan. dying off at some point, and then maybe Reyes is just like maybe I'll have to lead this team one more time kind of thing. I think, yeah, I think your yeah. fade-out scene is definitely Reaper a, pan, becoming a, a, a good guy? No, a silhouette of a hooded figure, maybe Reaper, looking at one of, looking at the recall screen, like yes, yeah. no. Like yeah. yes, no, Overwatch yeah. screen. Just black out. The, you only see the screen in the outline. Yeah. That's the ending. You know, Overwatch will be continued or so, something okay, like that. So, okay, so then... So then yeah. the, the or will it? <laughs> <laughs> you decide. I maybe think, only in Japan. Who knows? <laughs> I, I, I think... I think you, I think you kill off Soldier sometime. Yeah, and it's there's there's some emotional connection with him dying, that it what well, he wasn't killed by Reaper, or something like, maybe he like takes a sniper shot from like Widow Ooh. or something like that. Oh, okay. So maybe uh, like maybe... for like for for Diva or something, she's demacked and down somewhere. And he oh, takes, like, oh, takes... so so it's like a sacrifice thing. Yeah, I'm thinking okay. something I, like that. I, well, I was wondering, because like, if, if you do the Duel of Fates where you've got like the two different fights going, maybe at one point Reaper has, and this is just spitballing ideas here, Reaper has soldier dead to rights, but like this whole time they've been encountering each other, maybe Reaper's feeling some bit remorse, so he shows a sign of hesitation, and that's when you have that's oh, exact, um, that's Widowmaker literally just being like, you know what, what I'm going to do it for you, Reaper. Bam! Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then it's just like, oh, and then, and then there's that traumatic moment for Reaper that maybe that's what pushed him over the edge to be to like going back. Okay, maybe or, like, or like that. questioning if that's gonna happen. You're gonna have to build up, re- build up their relationship to be more than hatred because right now, from my my looking at those two, they really just kind of hate Flash each other. Backs, yeah, you're gonna have to have and some it's sort of hard if you're introducing Soldier halfway through the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I feel like we gotta introduce him earlier. I think that's what I was saying. First, like you could talk about him without showing him. The way that we've introduced Soldier and in the movie that we've been pitching, kind of, it's kind of lax. It. It's going to be inorganic if you just shove him in there earlier. Where that's why I feel like Farah has to be a main character because even if she's like, because she's his son, right? No, no, Uh, daughter. Uh, She's daughter. (laughs) But that, but they're like, no, no, no. That's not. That's not even confirmed. We just know Anna. No, right. no, 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 no. She, she, her father, somebody else, um, yeah. oh. not so, but Anna hey. have a relationship, but as far as not, not a baby, not, daughter. Not, not in a baby making kind uh. of thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so what do we want to do with soldier then to like, do, do we, I don't think bring him have, in in the second act or I don't think you have to kill a soldier. That's I think thing. that, I think that that idea of, Reaper has it. Like, You're cutting killed. in and out. You say say that last sentence again. Uh, I think the the idea of Reaper hesitating is good, and Widow killing someone. I think yeah. that, that that's good too. But I don't think that. I, I think Reinhardt would be the most emotionally impactful. Yeah. Yeah. I would. I still really like the idea of showing Lucio and him dying like immediately. <laughs> got this new guy, Lucio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Oh wow! Okay yo, then. Yeah. What was that name of the Brazilian who died immediately? Oh yeah. yeah. Lucio. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Give yourself to the rhythm. <laughs> the rhythm of death. Oh gosh. <laughs> I feel like I feel like at some point Lucia, like not in this movie, but maybe like second or third movie, Lucia has to have a bigger part. Just because like personality wise, I think he'd be a good yeah, leading. Okay, okay, I could really like see them doing Lucio. a <laughs> I re- do a scene where he's like riding on the walls and there's like an Arisa is just like, how is he doing that? And just pulls him off. Or something. <laughs> you just see a, oh, oh. <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> he falls down the- <laughs> just like, oh, okay. Okay. So do we want to do a quick recap? I mean, we're, we're here at time almost. So okay, recap. We can do a quick, quick recap. See if we even remember what we were talking uh, about. <laughs> recap. Okay, I'd start the recap. So it was Winston and Tracer that go to Korea and help Diva because Omnic's yeah. broken and yeah, yeah she kind of, he, they kind of save her and 
the bring Koreans. Her pretty much ask her and, to yeah. join the call. And yeah. then they go to Germany? Yes. Yeah. And then they pick up Reinhardt, maybe talk with Bastion, Brig, or whatever. And then oh, yeah. and uh, Torb. Yeah. yeah, and then they kind of learn a little bit more about Talents, oh, nice. terrorist yeah. acts. Yeah. Go to Gibraltar. That's where they... Ooh, is there maybe something in Bastion's memory banks or something like that that they come no. across? That like, okay. I'm just no. spitballing, spitballing. No. Even if there was, how would he tell them? Oh, that would be beep, beep, great. Beep, it's like that. It's like Garfield, where you, the audience knows everything that he's saying, but no one ever helps. <laughs> <laughs> it's, anyway. it's it's Paul Bettany voicing Bastion for the audience, but everybody, but like it cuts to another perspective where it's beep, 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 beep. it's it's I am Groot, but for the audience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, okay. So anyway, so they they come up across Reinhardt, leave Bastion with Torb and Brig. I say they want something that's at Gibraltar. And yeah. maybe they... What if they just go there because it's like the headquarters and then they see Soldier and he's like, don't unpack your bags yet. Yeah. But... I, like it. <laughs> I like it. That's good. And then he's like, I, I'm going to go to Egypt. Y'all can join me or not. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stoned. <laughs> 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 no. And then all, all along we see Seth uh, some just... dynamic between Reaper and Widow of like... They're kind of rivals. Yeah, we got that working Dan- together. Thanos, uh, Doomfist scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mixed in there, sprinkled in. Yeah, uh, and that's just like kind of happening. He could be like a big character happening. in the second movie where it's like, oh, he's yeah. overpowered yeah. now. Or, or he could be the Thanos and like actually no, be no, we should. Butt in no, the... honestly, it should. We should follow the Star Wars format. The good guys win with some losses, but the good guys win. Yeah, yeah. The good guys lose, and then the good guys win. Win. Yeah, yeah. I like that I, idea. I like that idea. The second movie definitely should have Talon winning. Or somebody who's bad winning. Yeah. To be honest, that is a really cool format because yeah. then, like, you have. Yeah. yeah it's honestly one of the but, best if you're gonna make a trilogy or a series. Like. Yeah. Or you do the Avengers format. Heroes win. Heroes win. Everyone dies. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> I feel like we go Star Wars with this. Yeah. I like, I feel like I feel like the overall the the, the, the concept of building a cinematic universe, you follow the Avengers format. But as far as like. The they main don't, they don't story. Need to really build the universe that much. No, but I mean, like, because you got a lot of characters that eventually you're gonna have yeah, in a this, movie in some. This, anyway, this, this the movie, movie dies with Ryan dying, and we move on, and we're like, ah, oh, we gotta get Talon back in the next one. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's the end of the main over the first Overwatch movie. We'll maybe written speculate on it. <laughs> yeah, written by cho- the chocolate dollar version of the Overwatch movie. That is horrible yeah. sounding. Um, oh, I had to go. <laughs> We've been doing this forever. <laughs> Um, and then I guess maybe later uh, we'll speculate on an Overwatch two, written by the or, Chocolate or Dollar Gang. Or spinoff movies, or who knows? Or sp- yeah, or spinoff movies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, honestly, you did mention something about like them getting on board, and I was thinking like Sweet Life, and then Sweet Life on deck, and that would be <laughs> cool for like, okay. like yeah, the second. <laughs> okay. That's what it is. All right. Awesome. Overwatch. On well, that that's on the Chocolate deck. Dollar version of the Overwatch movie. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of the Chocolate Dollar Show. Jonathan's a Hanzo man. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you enjoyed the show, please share it with your friends and family. Uh, if you want to participate in the conversation, you have some ideas, share with it, share it with us on Twitter by tweeting at Chocolate Dollar. You can follow us there, like us on Facebook, subscribe on iTunes, and hopefully other podcast providers coming soon. Also, feel free to leave a review; it helps us out. Smash that like button! Smash that like button! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks again, guys. And uh, anything else you guys want to say before we? You see that little bell? Go ahead and click that. Then <laughs> they'll know about every time we For those of you them. listening on YouTube, you're more than welcome to do that. All right. Until signing next off. time, uh, this is Chocolate Dollar signing off. Bye. Let's all drop our mics. Thank you for listening to the Chocolate Dollar Podcast. Check in next time.